Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed Merzouk. I am PhD student at the University of Texas at Austin in Petroleum Engineering. And today I'm going to be presenting for you ways on how to accelerate your research and show you some of the tools that I use in order to make my research fast and get results uh, or do literature review and accelerate my work. So some of the challenges that we'll be talking about today is how can I start literature review, which can be daunting sometimes. People may struggle with this, especially when they are starting their research or starting their PhD. So I'm going to show you some uh, of the tools that I use in order to do that. How can I find paper that support my findings? Let's say, for example, you have been in the lab for the last six months and you have been doing research and then you get results that does not align with the research that you have done and you want to look into the other side of the findings that people are looking at. So you can look uh, to that side and I will show you how you can do that. Another example is uh, you have done a literary review but lost the paper and you are looking for it. So in this case, you have done an in-text citation but you did not, you forget to put the citation reference uh, below. And then you you are looking for the paper, you don't know where, is it, where it is. And then uh, I will show you also how to summarize papers. For today presentation, we're gonna be using three of the tools. The first one is Connected Papers. So Connected Papers is this website that allow you to create connectivity between the the, the the research and find which research is related to the other and how can you find papers that are related to the search that you are going to do. And to do this, you only need a, either keyword or paper that your advisor gave you, told you that this is a seminal paper and we need to follow. We're going to also talk about perplexity, which is a search engine powered by AI, and uh, this can be a really good to finding papers based on a syntax search or a, a search that you think uh, you, you have the, the idea to, but you don't know the keywords that you need to look for, because sometimes uh, you will find that some of the information is within the paper, but it's not reflected good in the title, so you cannot look for that. And then we have um, Google AI Studio, which is uh, a way to, to use Gemini for free. So I really like Gemini because Gemini uh, is multimodal. Uh, so you see here it's multimodal, uh, understanding multimodal generation. Uh, and uh, it allows us to look into a very big context window, which is uh, 1 million token. So think about a token as, uh, as how many words can a model fit. Uh, so the bigger the token, the more paper you can input, input into the thing and the more uh, understanding it can get. And then the temperature is how creative the model can be. But we aren't going to keep this at once, so we're not going to use it. So uh, the first thing that we are going to use is basically uh, connected papers. Let's say, for example, you work on CO2, EUR or CO2 storage, which are topics uh, really prominent in the petroleum engineering. And one of the prominent author, let's say, is Larry Lake, which is a really famous uh, professor in this area. And uh, he teaches at the same university I go to. So we go and build uh, a graph. So what, what's going to happen is that we're going to get all the papers that are uh, related to Larry Lake as an author or that was cited by Larry Lake. And then we open this. So once you open this, we're going to get this map. And this map is basically showing how the papers are connected to each other. So the size of these uh, circles is how many citations the paper have. And you can change change that and use whatever you want. And then the color is basically how old the paper is. The the, the, the brighter the color, the older the paper is. And then the, the, the greener, the newer the paper is. So this helps us navigate. And then let's say, for example, I find this paper. Let's say this paper is a review of iron sulfide scale removal inhibitor in oil and gas well. It does not have a relationship to this, but in an indirect way, it may have a relationship to the CO2 wells or to the CO2 EUR. So let's say, for example, solubility trapping. And I think that this is very important. So you can find this paper here, and then uh, you can continue your research and open a new graph for this. And then it's going to build uh, a graph for you. And from a graph, you create another graph and another graph until you you know how, how your research is structured and you know the authors and the, the names of the papers and etc. So, for example, you like this paper and then you look here and then you find flow modeling, structural CO2, and you create another graph for that.
and you keep going and creating graphs and trying to understand how the paper is going. And then another thing that you can do is to see the derivative work. So this is basically work that was derived from the paper of Larry Lake. And then uh, we order them by citation. Uh, and we can look into these papers and how, how impactful they are. And you can also look into the authors or the year that it was published. Or you can look into the prior work, which is the work that Dr. Larry Lake used to build his research or to work on his research. So going back to this paper, uh, I have chosen this paper because it's open source and we can use it to to do our, uh, we can use it to, for this example. As you see, this paper uh, have been viewed 909 times, downloaded 327 times. So we download this paper and then once we download this paper, uh, we're gonna get this. Let me open that for you. So this is basically the paper. And as you see, it's 19 pages. That depends on how fast of a reader you are. For me, that takes this takes an hour to an hour and a half to read all of this. So instead of reading it for an hour or an hour and a half, what I do is I come here, uh, this demo for research, I just drag and drop the paper here, and then Gemini is going to read it for me. Gemini is better than all other models currently because it can understand both the images within the paper and the text within the paper. Other models sometimes struggle to understand the, the images within the paper. So I'm going to say summarize this research, focus on key findings, and methodology. Okay. So instead of reading the paper, uh, Gemini is going to do that for me. And then the good thing is only answering from the paper. So it's not creating new stuff or hallucinating, which reduces the risk of trusting AI model. And then you can see, for example, here, uh, this is the title. What's the overall goal of the paper, the methodology used, and then key findings, uh, which are the, one of the most important things. And then we have an overall conclusion. So, and then you can follow up with this paper and ask more questions about the things that you want to do, but we're going to keep that to another example in a few. Uh, comparing that to perplexity, let's say, for example, we do the same with perplexity, and this is to highlight the point why I say that I like Google Gemini and it's better than the other models. Uh, let's just copy past the same uh, prompt that we have used. Okay, let's... Uh, so... Uh, Perplexity is mainly designed for search, but it can do some of the tasks of looking to the papers and uh, and this kind of stuff. And I like it because you can choose the model that you use. You can use Claude, you can use uh, ChatGPT, or you can use open source models, which which I really like. So you see here, it get uh, a summary and then key findings. What are the key findings here? and then methodology. So if you see here, you will find that it only found four key findings and then only four in methodology. But if we come here, look how detailed this description is compared to the other description uh, with more key findings, it analyzes the text better and show you challenges and really important stuff that you may miss if you use a tool like uh, Perplexity. However, the application of Perplexity that I really like is uh, the search. Feature. So find me a paper that talks about geochemical effect of CO2 in carbonate. So it's going to understand my prompt and go and do some search for me, trying to find some papers. It's going to go through different websites and try to find the papers when they read them and then come back to me with uh yeah and it's going to come back to me with the the papers and uh how how are they uh related to the topic so for example geochemical impact or mineral uh, carbonate let's see all the sources they are all in uh, research gate i don't know if i can download those but i have another example uh, which is, yeah, it's this one. It was uh, this prompt. Let's do it again because I don't want to do something that is uh, not open source for everyone. So anyone can use this tool that I'm talking about. Yeah. So for example, 
I th we think that this paper is very important. It's geochemistry in geological CO2 storage. And if you see here, it's going to talk about all these papers and summarize them. So if I come here and then I look into the, the, the paper, I can I can take the name of this paper and go to connected papers and build a graph for the paper, which is really cool because you find that, for example, this paper has a lot of prior work to it. And you can use this into your advantage and see if this paper can support your research or not. But the other thing that I really like, we can download the paper. So we download the PDF and then uh, we can create a new prompt here. And get, so let, let's open the paper before that and see how, 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 how is this paper. So this paper is basically 35 pages, which is like really long for someone to read. And it's going to take you like a little bit of time in order to finish. But... Sometimes you read papers and you find that they are not useful for your research. So let's let the AI read that for us. So this paper is going to be a little bit big. And you will see how many tokens it's going to uh, take here because this is counting the token uh, for the context that you are trying to generate. So it read the paper. So let's let's take the same prompt that we have done here. Um, let's, let, let me find it here. Uh, demo for research. Yeah, so I, I, I like to keep consistency. So in order to show you different uh, examples with the same consistency. So uh, the text that I have put here uh, is basically took three, 13 token. And then when the paper comes out, you see that this increased like to 46,000, which is a really big context. So it's going to go ahead and summarize uh, the research for me. Which uh, which is going to reduce significantly my time of reading. Maybe this the reading. Uh, when I read papers, I may find information that are not useful for me. So, with this case, we can only focus on. Uh, okay. Test, test, test. Okay, my mic is working again. I thought it stopped for a moment. So as you see here, you can see that uh, key findings, uh, there is something called our geochemistry, something talking about trapping mechanism. Let's say we focus on mineralization. Expand on mineralization. Yeah, so it's going to talk about mineralization from the paper. How does it? And then you can see how how this this is related to your advantage. So uh, it's going to explain the things that you are interested in from the paper, and you see if the paper context contain information that you may uh, you may be interested in. And then you can follow up with other questions. Uh, how does uh, let's say. Uh, rock mineral affect CO2 mineralization, which is a question that you may have by reading this. And it's going to always go back to the paper, read it, and then come back to you with an answer. So yeah, you see that uh, these are different components that may be in the rock and how they are affecting the uh, affecting the, the CO2 mineralization. So with that, let's give a, a small summary about what we have done today. So we have Google AI Studio that allow you to use Gemini, which is a flagship model from Google, and it's very good for understanding papers. To find a paper or a reference that you may be missing out, you can either uh, you can write the name, for example, Larry Lake, paper on CO2 and EOR storage and it can get that for you. So it's gonna try to figure out if where is that paper. And yeah, you see, we got the SSRM paper. So this is pretty cool because let's say, for example, you have done this and then you want to, to go back inside this paper and you forgot where it is, where it is. And so you can come here and get it. 
And then we have connected papers for building the, the graphs and doing research and expanding on that. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for following with me and uh, looking forward to see you in future videos. Salam.